While Scar remains the murderous, vengeful, and evil lion from the Pride Lands in the live-action Lion King film, just as he was in the original animated and Broadway version, his motivations, origins, and desires have been altered throughout the 2019 film and its novelization. But what are these changes? Throughout the entirety of this video, I'm going to be explaining all that we know on that subject. This is Scar's new backstory. Hello, I'm Isaac from Watson Videos, where we discuss fun topics for fun people. On my channel, I focus on spreading magic by examining Disney films, so if you are new here, consider subscribing. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. When Scar was born, he came into the Pride Lands as the child of a noble and royal family, but for most of his life, he did not feel he was treated like he was born from a king. As a weak lion and the second born, Scar was never meant to inherit the kingdom as his brother Mufasa would, which according to the Lion King live action novelization by Elizabeth Rudnick meant he often felt cast aside, thought he was treated like dirt, and was frustrated that he was forced to watch as his brother received the glory that he also desired. This was a feeling seen throughout Scar's original backstory as well. In the telling of Scar's tale from the Lion King Six New Adventure story titled A Tale of Two Brothers by Alex Simmons, Scar was originally given the name Taka, which means trash in Swahili, despised his brother for acting insufferably noble, and felt tossed aside by his father Ahadi, who he believed avoided spending time with him in favor of Mufasa. This idea that Scar's father would avoid his younger son is expanded upon in the live action story. The live action novelization, which is linked in the description along with the six new adventure books if you'd like to continue to explore the expanded Lion King story, continues to explain that due to the scar on Scar's eye, he was believed to be an ineffective lion by his father. So, much like his animated counterpart, Scar was never allowed on the hunts, meaning he was never shown the way of the hunter. While he was shown to be capable of becoming eerily quiet within his cave and could fight to some degree, he was viewed by his family and pride as no mightier than a mouse. Scar was viewed as weak, pitiful, and unworthy, and this drove him mad. Over time, Scar did realize he did have an advantage over Mufasa. He came to understand that while his big brother would always rule when it came to brute strength, he had the lion's share when it came to brains. Early in his life though, he didn't have a way to implement those brains and a way to get what he wanted. And while he did desire the throne and to receive acknowledgement from his parents, he also hoped to be loved by a lioness. Unfortunately though, he fell in love with a lioness who would never choose him. Scar loved Sarabi, Mufasa's partner. Scar explained that long ago, Sarabi chose Mufasa over himself, and that meant nothing Scar could say or do would pull Mufasa from her heart. While Scar believed he respected and adored her, he felt she had been taken away from him by his older brother as every aspect of his life seemed to have been stripped away. There appeared to be no way to rise above Mufasa's shadow, which led Scar to hate the place that he seemed to remain in, and this drove him to become horribly frustrated, jealous, and bitter. The novelization continues to explain that it was never comfortable being in the same area as the two royal brothers, but as they got older, it became even worse and downright frightening to be with them. The rage between the lions practically boiled off of one another, for the tension between them was unbearable. Unresolved conflict and judgment stuck between them. We learn Mufasa knew his younger brother blamed him for his lower position and that he believed Scar to be a fool and a bitter lion, content to slink about stirring discontent among the young lions and mocking and disrespecting him at every turn. Mufasa did desire to have a relationship with his brother, hoping to connect with him some day during their lifetime. But years after their childhood, it seemed impossible for them to confront one another, for it was said that they had no love between them. Throughout Mufasa and Sarabi's time together, the novelization explains Sarabi had tried to get Mufasa to talk to her about why they were so torn apart, but he always changed the subject pursuing topics like the weather or the state of the pride. Mufasa understood it wasn't his fault that he was born first, but a part of him felt some guilt for Scar's position in life, even though that became more difficult to feel as Scar acted resentful and cruel. 
Petty jealousies seem to get in the way of Mufasa connecting with Scar, but it's truly much darker than that. What Mufasa didn't fully understand was to what extent Scar's hatred truly went. Mufasa saw Scar as a disheveled sibling, while in fact, he had trauma that stemmed to his core that made him a murderous monster. When Taka felt driven to that place of resentment and rage in the original backstory of Scar, he attempted to murder him through the use of a cobra and force Ahadi to question his faith in Mufasa with the assistance of Shenzi, Banze, and Ed. But the live action retelling of Scar decided to approach Mufasa in a different way. Scar decided he would have a more formal confrontation. He decided to challenge his older brother for the position of king. After the presentation of Simba, Scar states that he wouldn't dream of challenging Mufasa again, indicating at some point he broke down and confronted Mufasa to no success. At some point during Scar's life, maybe at a young age before even Mufasa was hunting, or maybe just before the birth of Simba, Scar fought his brother at least once. My best guess is though that there were multiple challenges throughout the lives of Mufasa and Scar. Regardless though, no matter how many times Scar fought Mufasa or how he desperately hoped to dethrone his brother, no battle ever resulted in Scar's victory, which meant he could never achieve what Mufasa had. Scar would never have the respect, love, and admiration of Mufasa, although one day he would try to earn that all. While Scar in the Tale of Two Brothers had his plan to embarrass Mufasa backfire which resulted in Boma the Buffalo scarring his eye and permanently transforming him into Scar, and in the Lion Guard we are told Scar received his infamous scar by an attack from a serpent, it seems Scar had been broken and scarred from his disastrous encounter or encounters with Mufasa. These challenges likely caused the scar on his eye and his beaten exterior that left him with a part of his right ear removed and several scratch marks along his sides. But while the original backstory of Scar had him instructed to keep his temper at bay when his aggression towards Mufasa was discovered, had him retreat with his new hyena friends, and had him begin to plot his inevitable domination over Pride Rock, the live action Scar remained alone, festering in his hatred for his life and Mufasa. After all of the treasonous behavior by Scar and his clear hatred of Mufasa's rule, many suggested that Scar deserved to be exiled from the Pride Lands for his crimes, but Mufasa would not allow this to occur. Mufasa believed that since Scar was his brother, the Pride Lands were Scar's home, and he had a right to live in the kingdom. Everything the light touched was believed to be Scar's by Mufasa, which meant as long as he reigned, Scar would never be forced to leave. The scorned younger brother was free to disobey, rebel, and disrespect as freely as he wanted, while he lingered in the shadows of the Pride Lands longing for revenge. And this is where we meet Scar in the live action film. Scar had been viewed as second best by everyone from his father to the lioness who he loved. He was viewed as weak, incapable, and worthless by many, meaning he felt alone and distant to all of those around him. But even while many turned their backs on him, his older brother provided him with empathy. Although Scar would not open up to allow Mufasa into his life, and Mufasa didn't fully trust his brother, Mufasa remained committed to watching over the wicked and jealous lion. The two brothers were trapped in a loveless, bitter, and tiring standstill. But soon enough, Scar would take action to disrupt the balance that existed between them, which would result in him rising to new heights that no one had thought possible. But now it's time to hear your thoughts. What do you think of Scar's new backstory in the live action film? I think the live action story provides a very compelling interpretation of Scar. There's a lot of layers to how he became so broken and evil that are hinted at throughout the novel and the film that do a great job at altering our perceptions of who this villain truly is. And soon enough, we are about to get even more insight into who Scar was in the Lion Guard. Meaning there will definitely be more videos on Scar coming soon. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments along with any other ideas you have for future videos. By the way, if you ever want to continue our discussion of Disney outside of YouTube and want to chat with myself and the community of fun people on a regular basis, consider joining my Discord for $5 a month on my Patreon. Help support my channel and engage in the Watso Videos community by following my Patreon link below. Thank you to my wonderful patrons over on Patreon who are amazing supporters of my videos make sure to subscribe to continue to see more magical Lion King discussions like this one and as always thanks for watching and have a magical day
Bumbo up, a wimbo up, a wimbo up. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. A wee, my